Shut up and sit down. Hey, super friends, I'm Simon. I'm Ellie. And if you enjoy our videos, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell thing. That would be very kind of you indeed. And this weekend is San Diego Comic Con weekend. Sadly, we're not there. We're in New York, which seems to be equally as boiling hot this weekend, but they have dropped a buttload of pretty awesome looking new teasers and trailers and sneak peeks. The first one that we're going to check out right now is the full trailer to She-Hulk. And we checked out the teaser a while ago. People were complaining about the CGI. We keep hearing about great things that have happened since then. Has it improved? Has Disney Plus pulled it out of the bag? Well, we don't know yet because we're going to dive in right now and check out the new trailer. If you want to see what we think about it and if we are suitably impressed enough to watch it then stick around until the end but for now let's go let's do it <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Jesus, what the hell, man? Still in control and the overwhelming feelings of rage. No, a normal amount of rage! You do revert back to Gen 4 when you sleep. Was the air horn really necessary? For comedy, absolutely. <laughs> this is a multi-year journey you're about to embark on. Yes! <laughs> yeah. Who's your best friend? Nikki. Eh, spandex. <laughs> spandex is your best friend. Being a Hulk asks for balance. You have so much more to learn. Yes! So I'm clearly nailing it at all these things. If you want to go back to life as a lawyer, I, I respect that. He doesn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> More and more eccentric superhumans are coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> we are going to launch a division for them. And I want the She-Hulk to be the face of it. Jennifer Waters. Namaste. Whoa. I have a serious Whoa. conflict of interest. This man tried to kill my cousin, Bruce. Yeah, that's quite all right. Oh. <laughs> People only care because I'm representing Emil Blonsky. I think they care because they're like, hey, that girl's green. Oh. Jen, do your thing. God, I really like this outfit. I'm not proud of this. <laughs> this whole is weird. Oh, oh my god. Power. Our universe is on the edge of a precipice. I am a lawyer. Jeez. We do things by the book. No, the book of Ashanti. No, the book of American uh, laws. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, you're now a superhero. Let's do this. You know that friend you had in high school? Who was way cooler than you were, attractive, got all the attention from everyone. I think I'm <laughs> jealous. Is that what I'm feeling? So, our first glimpse of the She-Hulk Attorney at Law trailer, there was a lot, lot more there than the teaser. Honestly, I'm not even sure I picked up on the CGI particularly, which is probably a good thing if it's not jarringly bad. But what were your first impressions from the trailer? I think it looks like it's going to be in a similar vein as the other Marvel series that we've seen. Um, kind of balance-wise, you've got comedy, action, really compelling dialogue. And it, just, it looks really well written, kind of from a bare bones type of thing. So I'm really looking forward to it for that because I've really enjoyed the other series that we've seen from them. Um, I did see a little bit of the faces look a little bit odd at times, they're kind of sliding around on the face a bit, but I do think with something that's well written you can you can easily ignore that kind of stuff. It didn't take me out of it particularly. Yeah, that was exactly my feeling as well. That uh, What I loved actually was all these hooks into other franchises. You, you've got Wong, you've got Abomination, Emil Bronsky, I think. Um, you've got, you know, really looked like quite a broad 
intersection with the rest of the MCU, which is awesome. And I, I actually love that. I know people have got problems with the amount that Marvel are pumping out, but I love it that you're now going to see, like, Miss Marvel with Captain Marvel. You're going to see these crossovers between the TV universes and the broader MCU. It, it really floats my boat. So to me, I don't care too much about the janky CGI, oh. as long as the story's there, to your point. Yes. There was so much, actually, that I really like it that we get to see Bruce Banner or the Hulk in this kind of mentoring, older cousin kind of a role. I also like seeing Emil Bronski back again. That yeah. I don't think we'd ever seen him before, other than just in that one glimpse in the Incredible Hulk movie where he turns into Abomination. Mm. I don't think we've seen him transform back and forth. I'm not even sure that we knew that he'd turn back into human mm. form. I kind of felt like that was a one-way deal, so... Interested to see more about him. And I guess in Shang-Chi, we saw Wong versus Abomination. So oh. is there going to be an overlap with Shang-Chi at all? I, I really don't know. But I must admit, we are comic nerds and we grew up reading Marvel comics particularly. But I will say, I don't know a lot about She-Hulk, the character, the world that she existed in, other than when she appeared in other franchises like the X-Men and the Civil War oh. story arc. So I don't know a lot about her. I was trying to figure out the character at the end with the two sticks I wasn't sure who that is did you have a clue? Or? I know who it is oh you know who it is well people are only going to ruin it for us in the comments so tell me put me out of my misery Daredevil De oh, of course. Yeah, I mean, and they've already announced that there is going to be a new Daredevil series on Disney+. Plus. Mm. Matt Murdock back again, and it obviously starring Charlie Cox, who we saw in Spider-Man No Way Home. So, yeah, okay, that yeah, that would make a ton of sense with the two sticks. I guess I was just being dumb. <laughs> and it gives us, I think, I, I really like you say, like you said, with the, um, the kind of crossovers, I like it when the franchise is... Give give us the ability to have the characters kind of bleed into each other's storylines a bit. I just think it gives you so much potential, and also if it it encourages you to watch things that you may may not have watched otherwise. But I feel like it gives you a lot of potential for kind of shorthand. So you know, I mean, you know that Matt Murdock's a lawyer, and you know that he's kind of working in the same field as she's going to be, and so you can kind of you can already feel kind of where that relationship might be. You don't need to do, you don't need to waste too much time kind of doing more world building or storytelling. You can just kind of put these characters together and just see what they do. Yeah, let's get straight to the courtroom. Who doesn't want to see lawyer versus lawyer in a legal battle? Yeah, <laughs> hopefully they'll just punch each other a little as well. Anyway, that's all we got time for today because we got so many more announcements from San Diego Comic Con to throw ourselves all over. So thanks for watching. We will be back very, very soon, friends, on the next Nerd Safari. Peace out, nerds. <laughs>